Yes, Mom. I know, Mom. Yes, I know. I know, Mom. Trust me. Trust me. I know. I'm breaking my mother's heart. The longer I stand looking at you, the more I hear it splinter and crack from 90 miles away. I know, Mom. I know, I know. I'm breaking my mother's heart. The JCC of Spring Valley is shaking and crumbling to the ground. And my grandfather's rolling, rolling in his grave. I love you too. Goodbye. If you had a tattoo, that wouldn't matter. If you had a shaved head, that'd be cool. If you came from Spain or Japan or the back of a van, just as long as you're not from Hebrew school, I'd say, now I get somewhere. I can finally break it through. I'd say, hey, hey, she's the goddess. I've been waiting for someone like you. I've been waiting for Danica Schwartz and Erica Weiss and the Hamelman twins. I've been waiting for Heather Greenblatt, Annie Minkus, Karen Pinkus, and Lisa Katz. And Stacy Rose and Ellen Kaplan, and Julie Silver, and Jamie Stein. I've had Shabbos dinners on Friday nights with every Shapiro in Washington Heights. But the minute I first met you, I could barely catch my breath. I've been standing for days with a phone in my hand like an idiot scared to death. I've been wandering through the desert. I've been beaten. I've been hit. My people have suffered for thousands of years, and I really still care. If you had a hair's tongue, that wouldn't matter. If you once were in jail or you once were a man. If your mother and your brother had relations with each other and your father was connected to the Gaudi clan, I'd say, well, you know, nobody's perfect, right? It's tragic, but it's true. I'd say, hey, hey, she's a goddess. I've been waiting for someone like you. Breaking the circle. You taking the love. Someone, I think that I could be in love with someone. 